Are you, are you resisting? Come on, move! Move! We greet you, Chief and Elders of our Lord. Ndingi! You are welcome. Why are you dragging a tuka like this? Chief, we are tired of buying a tuka in this village. This is the third time we are going to his house to collect his own contribution to the village. But it seems he does not want to pay. Chief, and so he was in things. Well, we went there, he was even hiding under his bed. Hey! Chief Muranga, Ituka, is it true? Is it true that you were hiding under the bed when the messengers were in your house? <laughs> yes, Chief, and moreover, he has not contributed for last month. Chief, maybe he wants to change the laws and the custom of our land, and we cannot accept. Chief, Chief, you know me. Things are not moving with me these days. Eh? I do not have any farmland of my own. Eh? I can barely fend for my wife and myself. Chief, I'm waiting for my traps to give me something so that I can sell. Then I'll pay all, everything that I'm on the village as contribution. <laughs> hey, Tuka, what is wrong with you is not what we are trying to make us believe. The simple truth is that you are a very lazy man. Look around you. Look at all this forest. It will come. Why can't you go in there and fuck yourself and your pregnant wife? It will come. Why are you disgracing your late father, whom we all know to be a very brave, strong, and hardworking man? If all what you are saying, Mukyo, was coming from a stranger. I would have taken my time to explain. But now that it's coming from you, 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 Mokyo, you know me so very well. Hi. Hi, Chief. I feel like crying. Oh. <laughs> if not of this palm tree that I fell, eh, I broke this my way. <laughs> Things will not have been the same. No problem. Eh, 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 Toka. This is the last time you have been brought here for non-payment of village contribution. Yes. How much is he owing? Chief, he has not paid for this month and last month. That makes it two calories. I am giving you the last warning. In four days, you are to bring the two cowries to me yourself. Exactly. And if not, a serious punishment awaits you. I don't care where you are going to get the money. I just want you to know that in this village, we don't encourage lazy people. Exactly. That's true. Why are you hiding under an accident that happened to you 20 years ago? And of which Tata Nganga gave you treatment. Etuka, I do not want any more complaints. Do you hear me? Yes, Chief. I, 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 I finish with you. I'll see you in four days. Dismiss him for my presence. Stand up. Stand up. Do not let anybody hear you. 
I said, where is all this money coming from? I said, keep quiet. List will make somebody hear you. Ha! Miss Sorry. Remember, you are my would-be wife. I want to start making arrangements for our marriage. And I want to make it a very big occasion. That does not to give me answers as to where this money is coming from. Maureen, in as much as I want our marriage to be a big one, I should also know if my would-be husband is not stealing from someone. No, no. No, Miss Sorry, I am not stealing from anybody. Then where is all this money coming from? <clears throat> Miss Sorry, why all these interrogations? What? I'm to get married to someone. And I see my man with, with much money like this. And you're asking me, I should not ask you where the money is coming from. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going. You know where I live. When you're ready, come to me. Hey, I'm sorry. Why are you angry? I am going to tell you. Look at me into my eyes. Can I trust you? What sort of a question is that? Why am I supposed to get married to someone who does not trust me? Okay, let me answer that question. Don't trust me. Uh, it's okay. 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 Why you look at me like that? You doubt if you should trust me, eh? We went out today to collect money for the village. Uh -huh. I'm listening. And <clears throat> I kept this. Mori, are you now the village treasurer? Me sorry, you will not understand. Then make me understand. Give me answers as to why you are keeping money that is meant to be handed to the chief. Me sorry, look. The chief does not need this money. Those that need this money are us. Me and you. And all the poor people around this community. Miss Sorry. The villagers supply him with food. He has a regular supply of palm wine as well as meat. His clothes and those of his entire family are being donated by the villagers. Why then should we be contributing monies every month and give to him? Mori, is that why you've decided to become a thief? I'm sorry, look. Taking monies from a thief is not stealing. Then what do you call this one? Be sorry for my name. I am not destined to be a poor man. I will make everything anyhow to make sure you are happy. Mori. I'll be happier. Very happy. If we have little 
And if that little is coming from a genuine source, look, Moe, look. Go and hand this money back to the chief. Okay. When am I going to see you again? So how do we raise the money now, Tata Ituka? Beer, I don't know. I don't know. All my traps have completely refused paying off these days. That small bunch of plantains up the hill. Even if I decide to sell it, will anybody pay two calories for it? Hey. 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 Tata let's pray something gets into the traps this this. Most of it, the worst of it is that those people gave me only four days. Anyway, it's not bad. Let's pray and hope. I can see you bought some cocoa yams. Yes, Ia Kori told me you wanted cocoa yams in exchange for palm oil. I need palm oil. You are right. What quantity of palm oil will you need in exchange for this cocoa yams? Mundo, we are friends. Whatever quantity you want to give me, it's in a calabash. Look at that type. That type of stuff. Good afternoon, my daughter. How are you people doing? Yeah, Jale, <sighs> so how's my son doing? Strong and vibrant. Ah, that's good, that's good. Um, I just want to go and inspect some of my traps in the nearby bush. I wish you luck, Tata. Thank you. Thank it's been long I've not eaten meat. I hope you catch one. <laughs> anyway, I just hope that something good comes up. Okay. Why did you have to say that? What do you mean? You know who Tata Ituka is. If he goes and finds something in his traps, he might come and give it to you instead of his poor wife. I don't know why kind people should be poor. Tata Ituka's kindness does not in any way equate his poverty. <laughs> Tata Ituka is that kind of a man who wants to stay hungry for another person to eat. Let's not forget it. Oh. I need to hurry back home. Oh. Wait for me, sister. Good day, Ia Bia. How are you? I'm fine, Tatangu. Uh, where is my friend Ituka? He went to inspect some of his nearby traps. How long has he been in a bush? I'm sure he must be on his way back. Oh. The traps are not far. Tatangu. 
Please, Thanks. sit down. Let me save you some cola notes while you await his return. Don't worry, mommy. I'll still come back later. So, Tatango, because your friend is naughty, you don't want to eat my cola notes, eh? I will sit next time. But tell him, please, that I came to look for him. Okay, well, greet your wife for me. Mommy, I will do just that. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Good day, Etuka. Good day, I'm I'm fine. No, fine. I'm just from your place. Uh -uh. Ah. <laughs> you are having something in your hand. Uh, you see, actually, God has answered my yeah, prayers today. Thank God. <laughs> Is that for sale or for your wife to eat in the house? Uh, 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 I want to sell it. I want to sell uh, it. How much? <laughs> Just give me three calories. <laughs> three calories. Uh, is it not too expensive? <gasps> yes. Then I will look at this thing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it is it's even a baby. <laughs> ah, you do. Uh, this baby. A baby. <laughs> yes. So how much do you want to pay? <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> I give you one curry. <laughs> Okay. Oh, one carry for this thing. Like that. Ah, okay. <laughs> because it's you, eh? Just give me two carries. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Two carries. Uh, well, it took a, I'm just giving you this because you are my friend. <laughs> ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey. He was going oh, to nice make you a very good professor. Very good professor. <laughs> Thank you. But, mm, I actually came to your house to ask whether you can do me some clearing jobs. Hi! Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm very available. Oh, very yeah. available. Oh. I'm very good. You know how badly I need money now. Nah. Well. Especially now that my wife. <laughs> yes, I know. I know she's <laughs> so <is>. good together. <laughs> hey. uh, so, when do we go for the job? Um. Mm. Tomorrow, tomorrow, yes, tomorrow yes, is yes, if yes. you're okay. Tomorrow is okay for me. Okay, okay. <laughs> then, then tomorrow now. Okay, let us see tomorrow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> my nice pepper soup. Hey, Ituka, where is my knife holder? Ah, uh, ah, uh, I forgot. Okay. Oh, thank thank, thank you, you very much. I'm the one thanking you for giving <laughs> me back my knife holder. <laughs> I'm very tired. I need to rest. Be sorry. <laughs> Let's rest. You are tired. You see? When I collect money and keep some, you keep on complaining. You will complain. Look. This way is for the smart and intelligent ones. For it is the smart and intelligent ones that can survive in this crazy world. 
What you did does not qualify you to be called smart and intelligent. What you did is called stealing. That was stealing. Hey. Ah. I would rather be called a thief than to move around like Pa Ituka. See. I want to work confidently in this village. Talk where men talk. Shout at weakling. And do you know what else I want to do? I will want to make my wife proud. <laughs> Moya, I would have loved if you achieved all that true hard work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so our smarting order guys is not good enough to be called hard work. Yeah. So how much did you make? Fifteen calories. What? <laughs> Fifteen cal I told you I will not be like Pa Ituka. Come on! <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is this woman? Yeah. <laughs> Your husband has come. Don't be all over here. See, eh? I have two calories. Two. <laughs> Two guys for a village contribution. <laughs> Hi! Oh, yeah! Tete, I hope you did not steal it too. <laughs> Me? Steal? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can. See, I was lucky to find something in the traps. Eh? I met Pangwe on the way, I, I sold it to him. You mean yeah. Mr. Oh, Mr. Ngoe? Uh -huh. He's the one who bought the, the, the animal now. Because he came here looking for you. Uh, yes, he told me he, wa he wants to give me a, a clearing job. Ah. Uh, tomorrow we'll be going to see the job. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, uh, is there anything for me to eat in the house? Ah, my husband. I prepared nice itoko yeah. and pounded akwana kokoyam. Daya! Save it to me, please. Okay, save, my save, save me so. I'm bringing hey! <laughs> Those foolish people, they think that I cannot get to cut. Hey, see, come. Come. Hey. Take this money. Keep it in a very safe place. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to get me, you know. Hey. Tomorrow in the morning, first thing in the morning. <laughs> My husband, when you were calling me, I was cracking some kennels. So let me save you some kennels before I go and bring you some. I think give me anything goes to get you. Oh, my God. Come quickly, come. What is it? Come, 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 come. What is it? Come quickly. What is it? What? Who is she? I don't know. Do you know her? I have never seen her in this village. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know her? Tata, I said I have never seen her in this village. Yeah, where are you coming from? What did she say? Baraluka. I don't know. I don't understand the language. Baraluka Sima. Where are you coming from? What did she say? What did she say? I cannot still understand her. 
you going to do now? I don't know, Tata. But she needs help. See, come and help me. Let us get her inside. Come and help me. Give me a helping hand. Asia, oh, Asia, Asia. Enda, what? Did you see that? What? When did Diale become pregnant up to the point that she's now having a baby? Don't tell me you don't know. Who? Oh, I know it's her husband. Ekole, of course. Ekole, Ekole. Who is Ekole? Don't tell me you don't know the son of Iakori. Hey! I will see things in this village. You are dreaming. That's the girl I wanted to marry. <laughs> what stopped you, my friend? Her father, her father refused my offer. <laughs> then the man has a vision. Vision? What do you know? So you think, standing beside the chief during council sessions, or running around collecting money for the village, makes you rich and eligible, that any father would jump in and welcome a proposal of marriage to his daughter, while young energetic men are then making history by cultivating large farms and hunting big game? Tender. <laughs> Tender. I never brought this up for you to insult me. I am not. You know I am a person. I don't take insults. I am not insulting you. Why are you talking? Let's face Please. facts. Look, we are lazy people. What we are striving to be is by Ituka. Other young men are there working hard, building fortunes for themselves, while we fool ourselves by saying we are village messengers or guards or whatever name you call us. Then why are you part of these lazy people? Do <laughs> me. <laughs> I am waiting for my time. A time will come for me to break up from these circles of foolishness and poverty and think of making life sweet. Mm -hmm. You know something? I have always known you to be a talkative. Tell me, where will this time be? Are you in a hurry? Don't worry, the time will come. <laughs> I can see the palm wine you took yesterday. Yes, I accept I'm foolish. But I don't want to be rejected when I go to ask for a girl's hand in marriage. I don't want to or will never be like Pai Tuka. Ziggy, uh, we are not going away. Wait for me. Ziggy! Try to relieve her of her pains. I'm not sure. You can go and ask around. The bad thing is, I don't understand her language. Tata eh? Ituka, talking will not solve her problem. So go quickly and look for the medicine so that you can treat her. If she dies, you know, yeah. people will think it differently. Yeah. And I might even say that would kill her. Hey, tapo e kome. Hey. Yeah, you are right. Let me hurry and look for something for this woman.
afternoon, Tata. Good afternoon, my girls. You know, at times when I see Pa Ituka, I feel so sorry for him, considering his state. What surprises me is the fact that he remains very generous, despite the situation. I think he should be the poorest man around this area. Me, I don't see him as the poorest. For me, he's the richest. What do you mean? I've never seen a man with that kind of a mindset. He is such a good man. A man who wants to share even the nothing he has. If all men in this village were like him, this village would be in a better place to live in. Unfortunately, it's not so. Ituka, <laughs> this one that you are coming to my house is a market. I hope an animal has not escaped from my traps. No animal. See, something bigger than even a man is taking refuge in my house. What did you just say? Tatanganga, I went to my head only to meet a woman. A stranger. I've never seen her anywhere around this area. She looks so sick. She looks like someone who has fought with one very big animal. All her bones, all her bones, everywhere is broken. Where is this woman now? She's in my house. Tata, the worst part of it is that this woman speaks in one language I do not understand. So, what do you want me to do now? I need some medicine to administer to this woman. You see, all her bones are broken, right? Everywhere, broken, everywhere, everywhere. It's okay. The treatment you are asking for Dazia visitor is very expensive. This woman is not my visitor. I said I don't know her. I don't even know where she's coming from. Neither do I even know where she's going to. That does not change the fact that she is in your house. Therefore, she is your visitor. Tata, see, we need to help this woman. Mm, you are right. You are right. It's okay. Just because it's you. Don't just take care of and I will get the necessary items for the treatment. Two carries? Mm -hmm. Just two. Because it's you. Where do you expect me to go and get two carries from? Well, if you don't want to pay, then let the visitor die. God forbid. Okay, okay, see. Let's make you one now, one carry. It's okay. I am not asking you to pay me. All I'm asking is money to get the items needed for the treatment. Okay, if you don't have the two carries, then get me the items needed. For instance, the tooth of a snail, How? and the physics of a dead albino, and some other items. Do you have them? Where do you expect me to get such things from? Well, then, if you want that your visitor to be strong and well again, then get me the two carries. ask you to bring two cowries. I tell you. Hey! It did not matter to this man how much I begged him. 
he vehemently refused reducing the price. So what are you thinking? Nothing. This head is thinking nothing at the moment. So what do we do now? My husband, it might not be a good suggestion, but I'm thinking that we have two cowries in this house. Uh -huh. So what about the money? I'm thinking that we use the money and treat the stranger. Are you out of your mind? Then what do I do with the chief? No, tell me. What do I do with the chief? Just tell me how pleased you are going to be if in just two days I am unable to pay the two cowries for the village contribution. And these people will decide to punish me. You, of course, you know what they are going to do. One, nobody will talk or want to hear anything from me in this village. Two, nobody will want to buy or sell anything to me. Worst of it all, I am not going to drink from, from the village pool. Don't worry. The gods of our land knows why all this is happening. See, last time when you had the animal in your traps, are you the one who forced them to enter your traps? Hmm? Don't you see that if we, we use that money, and tomorrow you might have another animal in your traps? Don't you think that? Yeah, be here. Okay, if I use this money now and later I do not have anything to sell, what happens next? Uh -uh. No, tell me what happens next. Then you have just done the right thing. Yeah. Yes. she today much better she's improving can't you see she no longer grunts as before that angangas medicines are very effective so should i prepare her something to eat mm -hmm. use that uh, dry meat and prepare her some nice itoko soup i think it will serve her some food. Fine, you are looking good. Thank you very much. <coughs> Penda. Yes. I came to verify if you harvested the palm nuts I asked you to. Not yet. Tomorrow I'll bring some for you. Well, should be on my way. Okay. Uh -huh. Penda. Let's go. How much did you make from the last raid? Not much. Only eight calories. Eight calories. Not bad. 
But next time, you need to be very smart. <laughs> Mom, do you know Nzingi and the others are really stupid? Ah, oh, forget about them. Forget about them. They will remain poor the rest of their lives. I have told him that if he is not careful, he will end up as Pa Ituka. <laughs> Penda, let me tell you something. The worst disease that can affect a man is poverty. See, when you are poor, nobody respects you. See, even if you have a problem, nobody is willing to assist you. Because they know that even if, in times of need, you will not be there to stand for them. Mori, I have sworn never to be poor in my life. I want to be a great man in this village. <laughs> my brother, <laughs> Let me get back home, I have much to do. Okay. For me. Yeah. I do not have anything to she give you. She don't speak. But just take this little calabash. Yeah. Whenever, Whenever you need something, something speak to it. it. And you, you will get it. it. Take it. Don't be afraid. This is my only thing to give you. to you. Thank you. Shh. Do not say anything. Just remember to do as I have told you. Bye bye. I have to go now. Bye bye.
my husband. Eighth day is approaching, and as our custom demands, our boy must be circumcised. What are you doing about it? Yeah. I am waiting for luck to shine on me. So I can go and see Tatanganga. So what happens if after eight days, nothing happens? What do you want me to do, Iabi? Yes. Eh? What do you want me to do? That are you asking me? Do I know something, oh? I don't want bad luck to befall my son. Anything you think you can do, do it all. That's the only child I have. If you can do something, oh. I will not take it easy with you. Try and do something, oh. See, if you can do something, oh. I don't want it, oh. I don't want it. <laughs> so absent-mindedly. Hope the house is fine. All is not well, my friend. All is not well. Actually, I came asking after the job. Oh, I'm very sorry. I gave it to someone else. Hi! Hi! I'm finished. Oh. I waited for you to come. To no avail. And I thought you were no longer interested. Ah, how can I not be interested now? It's not like that. It's just that I have a sick, well, a stranger in my house. Well, I'm very sorry. Chai, chai. So, nothing for me. Just nothing. Think you can. Chai. Just nothing. Where? I was looking for you, I thought probably you were inside. I was behind the house getting some help from my medicine as usual. What do I do? Always very busy. <laughs> ah, Tata, don't I disturb you. Eh? See, my son has to be circumcised two days from today. I know. He just came to inform me officially. No. See, I came to beg. I came to beg you. Mm -hmm. To help me. It's okay. How do you want me to help you? I don't have what it takes for this boy to be circumcised. Eh? So I just wish you could carry out the circumcision. And then a few days later, oh, eh, I'll come and settle everything. <laughs> what? Ituka, do you know what you're asking me to do? If it was something that could be done without problems, I would do it for you. 
But it's okay. You know how these things work. If I perform this circumcision without all the items for the sacrifice, the child will not be able to have children in the future. And what's more, he may not live long enough to know women. It's okay. I will do no such thing. But Tata, Tata, you also know that if this boy is not circumcised now, Eh? That will mean placing an unknown curse on him as well. Eh, just, just do it for me now. Kizuka, you really have to work hard. Anyway, you still have till tomorrow to get all the items. Okay? There is nothing I can do, Kizuka. When you are set, you can come back. Is in this thing, see, I can't even go and do, do, do the, the, the circumcision myself. Huh? Anything, anything. <laughs> okay, you are still sitting here. Tomorrow is eight day. Tomorrow is eight day. My child will not be circumcised, eh? I only sit here. I don't like it though. Oh, 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 how many hours have you been here? Oh, 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 Calabash. Calabash. For the for the circumcision, the calabash, the calabash. Uh -huh. Remember the stranger woman? Yes. You you remember she said, I just need to ask this calabash whatever I want. It's going to. I, I just said I should try you. The calabash, the, this file just appeared. Hey, hey. That's our child will be yeah, yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep this file in the house. Hey, hey. At last, my child is going to be circumcised tomorrow. The calabash. Yeah, the calabash. We are rich, oh. We are rich. Hey. We'll not keep it inside the house. Go keep that in. Who could have believed that part Ituka could organize such a ceremony? My sister. I was very surprised myself. You know, everybody in this village was waiting to see how he's going to do it. I'm so happy he did what he did. But wait, oh. How did he get those things needed for the circumcision rites? Why are you asking? Is it not a man? Ha! He might have been preparing for it. Come on, Mondo. We all know Paituka. We all know the kind of life he lives in this village. You and I know even if you give him three years, he would never be able to organize an occasion like the one he did. There you go again. Just listen to yourself. Okay, let's say he could not do it. Now that he has done it, I am a big star. What else do you have to say? You know men have to mind your business. Mori, 
I cannot understand how bad Ichuka has suddenly become so rich in this village. <sighs> Penda, it surprises me too. Sir, are you sure he has not been stealing? I don't think so. Has anyone come up to say something is missing? But how and where did he acquire his sudden wealth? It baffles me. We shall find out. We shall find out. Uh, Chief, an elder do not sit and watch a child play with a serpent. What is wrong? Chief, he said to her, what has he done again? Chief, not that he has done anything, but we are very worried on how he has suddenly become rich. <laughs> He came to me asking how he could become a member of the Buta Mejuju. What? I tell you. The funny thing is that when I told him of what it takes, he laughed at me and asked me when he is supposed to come with the item. Hey! Chief, I think Etuka is stealing from someone. Has anyone complained? Chief, Ituka is a very canny man. He might be going out to steal from other villages. You are very right. <coughs> that is a possibility. Chief, just imagine what is action my cause. Problem between our village and another one. All because of Ituka. Where? So what should we do now? Listen, Chief. Since we are certain he's stealing, and especially from outside, we should let some boys to watch him. That is correct. Absolutely correct. So you mean he did not go out from this village? Yes, Chief, he did not. We followed every step he made. We did not see or notice anything suspicious. Lie, Chief, that cannot be. Maybe we should give this voice some time again to Nosara. 
and chief, I am certain that if we give them more time, they will come out with something. I mean, how can Ituka just become very rich overnight? Boys, you need to work very hard. I mean very hard. Follow him to his house. Follow him to where he takes his bath. Go. We do not want to antagonize the gods or the other village. Do you hear me? Yes, chief. Go. Can't give the calabash to the chief now. Something is wrong with you, Penda. I can see you are not objective at all. Me, give this calabash. <laughs> Come, my let's go.
those boys? No, Chief. This is two days. Yet no word. No sign. What can be happening with those boys? Uh, Chief, let me patient. I'm sure you don't want to come back and meet us without well, providing all concrete evidence as to the source of it to cast you well. No. That is not the way I look at it. Don't you think that a Tuka's word may be coming from a mysterious source? Hey. Don't you think that a Tuka might have discovered the boss and used them for sacrifice to his evil god? God forbid. I I'm beginning to become very worried. What if those boys never show up? Hey! What will I tell my wife? My only son! Hey! Chief, let us not panic. Let's wait. Surely they'll show up. But where can this boy? Boy, look. I am hungry. We need to ask the calabash for food. <laughs> that should not be a problem. I am thinking of how I will become a chief in the village we are going to settle. Are you sure we are not going to be caught? Who will catch us? How can you be thinking of such absurd things? Penda, I think you are chicken liver. Look, let me tell you, gentlemen. I am not going back. We want the riches. This is our chance. Mm, I hope I told you I am hungry. Oh. Ah, I forgot. Calabash! Calabash! Your servants are hungry. Calabash! Give us the food we need! That Penda is fine. Don't tell me Penda is I fine. I am telling you. Don't the tell truth. me Penda is fine. Penda is fine. Papa Where Penda, is? today is the second day that I have not set eyes on my son. If I don't set eyes on my son today, there will be no peace in this house. For me, Penda, calm down. <laughs> calm down, please. I will Our not son calm is down. on mission. What mission? Don't worry. Penda will come back. Papa Penda. I'm there telling will be no you, Penda, will come house, back. Yo. There will be no Mami peace Penda. in this house. I'm telling you. He will you. come back. Don't All worry. All I'm asking for is my son. Huh. Okay. <sighs> Mori, what happened? Maybe we were in the evil forest. <sighs> Look at skin marks all over my body. Hey. <sighs> Look at my hands. <sighs> Where are we? I don't know. <sighs> I think we were in the evil forest. <sighs> this village must have a very active evil forest. 
in some evil forest. People are not supposed to talk. Hey, my and uh, my father once told me of such stories. Are you sure we are out of the evil forest? For sure. We have been running for more than an hour. There is no evil forest hey, as my. large as that. Mori, running has made me more hungry. So what do you want us to do now? So you don't know what to do? Ask the calabash for food. Anyway. What are you looking for? Making sure we are out of it. Are we still in it or out of it? I think we are out of it. This place looks safe. Why didn't you verify last time? Penda, you said you are hungry. Give me time to invoke the calabash. Master, do all what you can. All I want is food. I have already had enough thrashing. Then stay quiet. Calabash! Calabash! Here, here, here! Tata, hi. I've looked for the calabash everywhere. I cannot find it. Maybe it has disappeared because he wrongly used it. Ah, how can that be? The strange woman gave me that calabash without any condition on how to use it. Hey, so where can the calabash be? I've searched for it everywhere, everywhere. Tata, let it not be that it was not meant to be with you forever. But where can it be? Bye. Yeah, oh. Look at my body, covered with cane marks. Hey, hey, who is beating us? I am beginning to understand one thing. Hi, what is that? Maybe we shouldn't have stolen the calabash. What makes you think so? Every time we ask the calabash for something, we are being trashed. Penda, are you sure? I am certain. Okay. Let, Let me confirm wait, it. Wait, if you want to try, try it alone. Let me shift. Penda, you might be saying the truth. No, no, no. Hey, don't come near me with that thing. Penda, what do you suggest we do now? Throw it away. Penda. This calabash I saw by Ituka invoke powers. Are you out of your senses? Throw what away! I am sure you are being blinded with greed. You want to keep this thing for yourself? For what reason? Throw that thing and let's get out of here. Penda, I am uh, I'm not going to throw any this thing, even for the world. You think you don't know what you're doing? Penda, what have you just done? I think I did the right thing. If you want to stay, stay here. I am going my way. This your hair. Mm. Always plating it. Two days ago, I plated this your hair, and now you want me to do it again. Oh, 
Don't blame me. Oh. Don't blame me, my sister. No, strangers coming to the house to see the baby. I have to always be shy there. Mm -mm. So that's for you. My sister. I'm jealous of you. Look at you. You have a beautiful baby and a very hardworking husband. Don't worry, your own will come. You already have a man eye for marriage. You should be a very happy woman. So you have not heard? So you've not heard what happened to Mori and Penda? What happened? They disappeared. What do you mean by they disappeared? My sister, I cannot explain. It is rumored around the village that they have been mysteriously killed by Pa Ituka. Mysteriously killed by Pa Ituka? Are you sure of what you're saying? Pa Ituka? Has he been asked about it? No. Nobody can ask him because no one can actually prove he did it. Have they verified from the village shrine? The ancestors are silent about it. What are you saying? They are probably dead. It's okay, my sister. I did not call you here to come and cry. You. It's okay now. I only called you here to paint my hair. I did not bargain for it. Papa Penda, where is my son? Where did you say my son went to? Papa Penda, have you sacrificed my son to an evil god? Tell me where this an evil god is. Let me go and bring my son. Even if I have to die thereafter. Why are you tormenting me like this, Mami Penda? Why are you tormenting me? I'm not tormenting you. Just the loss of my son is enough torment for me. The loss of whose son? Oh. Mami Penda. It can never be my son. My son Penda is not lost. Papa Penda. Oh, Papa yeah. Penda, where is my son? Penda! Penda! Heard that Penda and Mori are dead. What? Dead? Mm -hmm. So don't tell me that you have not heard. And from all the information, Pa Ituka killed them. Come back. Can you say something against somebody you know cannot even kill a fly? How can you? And if not so, how can you? Where are they? Where are they? Hmm? Where are they? Mm -hmm. I'm not part of this. You should better excuse me. Yes. Hey, let her go. Please help me to prepare a longer move. Nonsense. Oh. Chief, chief, chief. I'm finished. My house is on fire. I am in hell. I am in total disarray. My wife cannot allow me rest because of my son that has not come back. Chief. God. Calm down. Sit down. God. This whole thing is making me hot inside. I don't just know how two boys would disappear in the village without a trace. If I had known, I would have allowed it to cut alone. Chief, my problem is my wife. And I don't know what else to do. And that boy is my only son. I don't know how to face my wife again. Chief, I will not return to that house without my son. Ah. Where can these boys be? Oh, at last. What are to drink? Mori. What are to drink? Mori, what is it? Penda, the calabash. Where is it? Remove it and show me. Penda.
<laughs> Do you now believe on what I was telling you? Benda, what do we do? Hey. 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 I don't know where I can say this boy went to. We have consulted all the oracles. They are silent. But was their mission actually necessary? I cannot tell. We all wanted to know how Ituka acquired his world. Don't you think it was not a good thing to do? Why should people want to know the source of people's world in this village? Nyangwamboka. We all know Ituka. That does not mean he can be lucky. Lucky? Yes, lucky. Nyangwamboka. Lucky. Hey, who is this? Eh? Ah, where have you been? Papa Wait. Where have you been, boy? Papa Wait. <laughs> where? Oh, Chief, I would like alive. to see you alone. You want to see me alone? Where have you been? We wish to see you alone. Oh, my son, where have you been? Why did you go away? Your mother is about to kill me. Bend up. Oh. Go and wait for me in the house. I am coming. Oh. We wish to see the no chief. Way. Alone. I will not go to that house without you. You cannot imagine the torment. All the time, every day. Ah, Papa, then wait for me there. Better. Oh, oh. Chief, we wish to see you alone. You wish to see me alone? Yes, Chief. Better. <laughs> What is it? Chief, we have discovered the source of Ituka's world. What? Yes, Chief. What is this? This is the source of Ituka's world. Are you sure? Quite sure. This calabash? Yes, Chief. This calabash is magical. Everything Ituka wanted, he asked this calabash and it is provided. Are you sure? Yes. Quite sure. We know our chief should be the richest man in this village, not Ituka. That is why we want our chief to keep the knowledge of this calabash a secret and for his personal use. <laughs> Are you sure? Quite sure. <laughs> that is good. That is good. Okay, let me reward you for... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no, thank don't, you very don't much. Don't worry, we already have enough provided by this calabash chief. <laughs> chief. <laughs> My boy, I hope you are going to keep it a secret. Don't, don't, keep don't it. worry, chief. Nobody will hear it. <laughs> don't tell anyone. Okay. <laughs> Sit 
Oh, oh, oh. 